Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and before we get into this episode, I wanted to do a little PSA and remind you that I put out multiple shows a week of Old Time Radio Westerns. You can check them out by going to otrwesterns.com or looking up OTR Westerns on your podcast application of choice. We are releasing over 10 episodes a week so far, about 100 a month. So definitely want you to check that out. Again, otrwesterns.com and check it out. I also wanted to invite you to check out my sister podcast site, OT Netcast, and that's N-E-T-C-A-S-T. So O-T N-E-T-C-A-S-T, Netcast, otnetcast.com. We're currently releasing mystery genre shows, and this is shows like The Shadow, Escape, Suspense, and The Whistler. And we have plans on bringing other shows to the network for you guys to listen to. So it's my non-Western old-time radio channel that I can kind of do other genres that not only I like, but hopefully you would like too. You can check us out by going to otnetcast.com or searching O-T-N-E-T-C-A-S-T on your podcast app of choice. Now let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be The Adventures of Wild Bill Hickok. Original air dates February 13th, 1952, and the title is The Riverboat Killers. and pass those Kellogg sugar corn pops. Cause here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops! Today, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story of the Riverboat Killers. Now, boys and girls, before we get into today's exciting Wild Bill Hickok adventure, just let me remind you that the new Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops are sweeter and crispier than ever before. So if you haven't tasted new Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops yet, don't miss out any longer. Load up big at the store tomorrow so you'll have plenty of new Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops on hand for breakfast and snacks. Now, let's listen. In the days of the Old West... Side-wheeling river steamboats carried freight and passengers wherever the water was deep enough. It was while United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy Jingles were riding one of these puffing river boats that they had one of their most dangerous adventures. And it was there that they met the Riverboat Killers. Jumping catfish, look at the black smoke coming out of that stack. Yeah, it takes a lot of cordwood to keep one of these side wheelers fired up, Jingle. <laughs> and look at those paddle wheels splashing. You know, I'll bet we're going faster than a stagecoach can travel. Headed downstream, the current helps us along. How fast do you think we're moving, Captain? Yeah, maybe eight, ten knots. Hard to say. But we make it from Needles to Fort Yuma in two days. Mighty good time. Uh, Captain James, can I blow the whistle just once more? Can I, huh? <laughs> Why, sure, Jingles. Won't bother anybody but our passengers, and a few renegade Apaches that might be hiding along the banks. There's nobody out in this desert but the Indians. Yeah, that's right. The Arizona Bell is the only steamer on the Colorado River, so you won't be messing up any navigation. Go ahead and give her a toot, Jingles. Oh, boy, I'll give her a toot. I sure will. (laughs) Ain't that wonderful, Bill? You know, that's louder than a burrow braying for his hay. Hmm, that's good and loud, all right. We didn't come all the way out here from Kansas just to blow steamboat whistle jingles. We're supposed to find a gang of river bandits. Eh, shucks, if they know Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles are on their trail, those bandits are probably hightailing it into Mexico by this time. No, not this gang, Jingles. They raided every mining camp along the river. Mm, killed dozens or more prospectors and businessmen. They come aboard the bell three times now when we tied up for wood. Robbed all the passengers and... Cleaned out the valuables in the ship safe. 
Why, they're regular pirates. Has anybody ever got a good look at these river rats? No, no, Bill, they ain't. They wear bandanas over their face and they shoot to kill. They got everybody in this part of the country buffaloed. And they're as full of tricks as a grandpa prairie dog. Yeah, I'd like to meet these tough hombres. Well, I hope you do, Bill. Maybe you can handle them. Nobody else can. Well, Wild Bill can handle them all right. That is, Wild Bill and me. Jingle. Yeah, wait a minute. There. The engine stopped. Steady as she goes, Morgan. Aye, aye, sir. What's all the bells for, Bill? Engine room bells. The captain rang for a full speed ahead, and the engineer rang back the emergency signal. No steerage way, sir. Not with the engine out. The current's carrying us down at Elbow Bar better than five knots. What's he talking about, Bill? I don't understand all that sailor talk. Yeah, ahoy on deck. Stand by the ground. Break out the starboard stern anchor. He can't steer the ship, Jingles, and it looks like we might hit that sandbar up ahead. Yeah. Well, then why doesn't he say, dig in your spurs and start pulling leather, because that critter's getting his back bowed to start sun fishing. That's the kind of talk I savvy. Yeah, hire the port, Bozen. Take us straight onto the beach. Aye, aye, sir. Bill, that Bozen feller keeps talking about himself. Aye, 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 sir, all the time. Yeah, grab hold of something solid, boys. We're liable to hit pretty hard. Oh, that's silly. Why, there's nothing there to, well, nothing except soft, wet sand. I'll bet we slide up and see, see us. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Go ahead and go ask the engineer when you have the engine running again. Aye, aye, sir. Bill! Bill! I'm blind! I can't see! Hold it, partner. Take that bucket off of your head and you'll be all right. No, you... That scared me for a minute. This dad burned boat pitched me head first into the corner when she hit. You get hurt much? No, I lit right on my head. If that bucket had been much smaller, I might have had both my ears chopped off. Say, Captain... How long will we be stuck on this bar? Oh, not too long, I hope. She'll back off when we get the engine running again. Meantime, I'm staying right here on the bridge where I can keep an eye on the shore. Worried about the river killers, huh? Yeah, I sure am. Yeah, especially when I see a big cloud of trail dust hanging over this forsaken country. I spotted that dust cloud before the engine stopped. And I'm wondering now if somebody stopped the engine just at the right spot. Well, I'll be doggone. We're setting ducks for anybody on shore with a rifle. And I'll just bet those four riders coming down the hill over there have each got a long, black, ugly rifle. You're trying to bet on a sure thing, partner. Get out! Hey, one of those slugs went through my hat. Well, get your hat down out of the way, Jingles. There's going to be more lead coming through here. I guess I better let them know we got rifles, too. Well, what do you know? (laughs) Two shots, two hats. Howdy, Wranglers. Here's your old saddle mate, Panhandle Jim. Say, you know what I got here? Kellogg's new sugar corn pops in a great big yellow package. And guess what I got inside this package, besides all those good-tasting, crunchy sugar corn pops? My hand. That's right. I'm fixing to go right on eating more sugar corn pops as soon as we're through chinning here. Mmm, you'd sure go for them, too. Kellogg's sugar corn pops are sweeter than ever, golden hearts of corn, all popped up bright and jolly. They're crisp and crunchy and already sweetened for you. Yes, sirree, by jingo, out of the box like candy or for some real chow at breakfast in a bowl with milk. I'll stake my trusty old six-shooter you never enjoyed better eating. Yep, no sugar needed for Kellogg's sugar corn pops, because the sweetening's already on them. Now listen. Yippee! Sugar pops. They're sugar-coated, tastes so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Mm, boy, they're neat. Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Now sugar pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. When the river steamer Arizona Bell ran aground and was attacked by bandits on shore, Wild Bill Hickok stopped the outlaws in a hurry with a couple of well-placed rifle shots. Gee, look at him scoop. Hi, Bill, I never did see such shooting in all my life. 
You knocked their hats off while they was riding at a full gallop. <laughs> Shucks, he was just paying them back for shooting a hole in my hat. Why, he could have picked the buttons off their vest just as easy. I'm surprised they gave up so easy. What do you suppose they were after, Captain? Well, Bill, I haven't told you before, but we're carrying a cargo of gold dust from the mines down to Yuma. From there it goes on the Butterfield stage to San Diego. Do you suppose the bandits knew you were carrying gold? Well, they might have seen us loaded in needles, but how did they know we'd go aground right at this spot? That gets us back to the question. Why did the engine stop just when it did? Hey, Bill... Sailors do funny things, don't they? What do you mean, partner? Well, that feller down there on deck has been staring out at the desert and waving a couple of flags around ever since we stopped. What's he doing, shooing away mosquitoes? Hey, wait a minute. Those are semaphore flags. He's sending signals to somebody on shore. Why, that's a bosun. He must be into them river bandits. I'll put him in irons for this. Hey, wait a minute. He's starting to send another message. See if you can read it, Captain. Well, sure, Bill. W-O-O-D-S-T. You mean he's spelling out letters, Bill? That's right, Jingles. That's one of the oldest ways of signaling. I-L-E-D-E-N-D. Why, that sea-going snake! He's telling right where we'll be stopping next. He sent Woodstop, Seven Mile Bend. That's where we have to stop to take on more logs for the boiler. Good. Well, what's good about it? One of my own crew tipping off them pirates so they can ambush us again. But this time, we know about it. We can set a trap for him, huh, Bill? That's right, Jingles. Captain, which side of the river is your wood stop on? The starboard side, Bill. Same side you're on now. All right, let's go, Jingles. Get the horses off the deck and we'll trail those sidewinders. Good. I feel a lot more at home when we're riding buckshot and joker than I do on this sea-going stone. <laughs> Come on, Bill, let's make a little speed. There's no hurry, Jingles. What do you mean? We've got to get down to the bend to hand and head off them varmints before they can rob the riverboat. I'm not so sure, Jingles. Let's pull up here. Who, Buckshot? Oh, oh, Joker. I don't get it, Bill. What are we stopping for? Because we've ridden far enough to be out of sight of the Arizona Bell. But what about those owl hoots we're trailing? You haven't been keeping your eyes open, Jingles. Our tracks turned around and headed upstream a half mile back. Well, I'll be doggone. Somebody's trying to fool us. That's right. Now tell me who's trying to fool us and why, and you'll have this mystery all figured out. Oh, now, gee, that's easy. You see, the fellas we were chasing, Bill... Well, I mean, the fellas on the steamboat, Bill... Oh, Bill, I don't know what's going on. Neither do I, partner. But let's do a little fooling ourselves. Let's not go to Seven Mile Bend where they expect us to go. Oh, that's a good idea. Where shall we go? My God, Jingles... You made him pull in his head, Bill. He's up in that pile of rocks. Spread out and let's get after him. I'm already spread out. Stay behind rocks as much as you can. We'll move in. Wonder who he is, Bill, and why he's shooting at us. That's what I want to ask him when we catch him. That one was awful close. Yeah, he's a good shot. Now stay undercover. Did you get him? No. You're right behind the next big rock. You go that way, Jingles. I'll go this way. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Drop that gun, mister. Bill, look out! Don't try to pick up that gun. Oh, don't worry. I won't. You, Henri Bushwhacker, I ought to stomp you right into this cactus bush. Yeah, well, come on and try it. All right, I will. I don't like snakes that shoot at me when I ain't looking. Now, wait a minute, Jingles. <laughs> I want to ask him some questions. Uh, but Never Bill... mind. Oh. Mister, where's the rest of your gang? You don't think I'm going to answer that, do you, Hickok? Oh, you know who I am, huh? Sure. The famous Wild Bill Hickok. And his deputy, Jingles. That's me. We know about you, too, big boy. <laughs> Two famous lawmen sent all the way from Kansas to clean up the bandits on the Colorado River. <laughs> well, you can go back home, Hickok. Alive like you are now or full of lead in a pine box. Oh. You sound pretty tough, mister. Let's find out if you really are or if you just talk that way. Well, what are you going to do, Bill? Here, Jingles, hold my gun. Oh, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Always fight pretty, don't you? I'll get you any way I can. All right, try this. <laughs> Hit him again, Bill. No. <laughs> Had enough? No. Okay. <laughs> Now can I sit on him, Bill? Never mind, Jingles. Oh. All right, mister. Start talking or I'll stand you up yeah. and give you some more. No, no, I'll talk. Ah, that's better. Where's the rest of your yeah. gang? Probably 
Half the way to Mexico by now. With the gold off the steamer? That's right. You mean they went back and robbed the Arizona uh, Bell? Sure, Jingles. You saw those tracks heading back up the river. But what about the boatswain signaling with the flag? He said they were going to do it at Seven Mile Bend. I think that message was just to get us off the ship, Jingles. Uh, pretty smart, aren't you? Hickok? You doggone right he's smart. Smarter than a prairie dog like you'll ever be. Mister, judging by those signal flags in your saddlebag, you're the one who sends messages for the gang. Where's the next place you're supposed to signal from? Why don't you just figure that one out for yourself? It's easier to pound it out of you. Now get up on your no, feet. No, no, I've had enough. Uh, there's a... There's a hill about two miles down that way. I'm not supposed to tell him whether I killed you two or not. Get Buckshot and Joker, Jingles. We'll tie this coyote on his horse and ride over there and send a message. She sure looks pretty plowing down the river, don't she, Bill? She sure does, Jingles. All right, mister. Start waving this message. Hickok and Jingles both dead. Where do we meet? All right, all right. And don't try any tricks. I know the semaphore code just as well as you do. You do? Yeah, I do. And if this gun of mine goes off, you'll know you made a mistake. All right. I won't make no mistake. You know, I never heard of this semaphore signaling before. Look at how easy it is. Just wave a couple of flags this way and that way. Behind you, Jingles. Let them have it. Stop, gun it. Push whack the game. Well, I'll be a locked up bad hombre if these new Kellogg sugar corn pops don't sure make good eating right out of their big yellow box. Here, I'm going to be fresh out before this show's over. And by Jingle, that just goes to show you, partners, you always want to have plenty of Kellogg sugar corn pops on hand so you never run out. Sugar corn pops make mighty good eating any way you like. Yes, sir, out of the box like candy or out of the bowl, they're just plum wonderful. And say, pull up there. Don't forget these big new yellow boxes of Kellogg sugar corn pops that got handsome real-life pictures of Guy Madison and Andy Devine right on the front. So you know you're on the right trail when you see him in the store. Hit a load of Kellogg sugar corn pops for a heap of downright delicious fun tomorrow. And you'll be singing this song, too. Yippee! Sugar pops. They're sugar-coated, tastes so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Mm, boy, they're neat. Kellogg sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Now sugar pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. In one of their strangest adventures, Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles ran into an ambush along the shores of the Colorado River in the old Arizona Territory. While sending a message to the passing steamboat, they were jumped from behind and found themselves in a furious gun battle. There's another one, Bill! The rest of you drop your guns. Well, I'll be doggone. Three of you sneak up behind him, and he turns around and wings every one of you. You had a chance to get him with a rifle, Mason, and you missed. Yeah, I had to fight him with my fist, too. Don't any of you try that. It's better to be kicked by a horse. Shut out the palaver, Mason. Go ahead with that message. I want to see what the answer is. Yeah, I do, too. You watch these polecats, Jingles. They've given us enough trouble. Well, there's the last word, Hickok. Watch the after deck, and you can see the answer as it comes back. Well, what do you know? You know, that's like having a telegraph without any wires. Maybe I could learn that stuff and wigwag to my Aunt Martha back in East Sedalia. You have to be able to see the flag, stupid. Oh, that's right. Hey, just a minute. Who are you to be calling me stupid? Now get over there with the rest of my prisoners. All right, but stop oh. pointing that cannon at me. It's liable to go off. Mason. Yeah, Hickok? Where's the Square Knot Cafe? Don't tell him, Mason. <laughs> You're new around here, Sharp. When Hickok asks questions, I answer him. The boss will kill you for this. This message says meet at Square Knot Cafe. Yeah, it's right on the riverfront in Yuma. River sailors have been off the ships that come up the Gulf usually hang out there. Well, I guess that's where we go next, Jingles. 
after we herd these four critters into a cell at the territorial prison. Bill, wearing this get up. Anybody would think I'm a sailor. <laughs> Just got in from the seven seas, mate. Dig in your spurs and let's throw a wide loop. How's that, partner? If anybody hears that cowboy talk of yours, a jig will be up. Maybe you better just keep quiet. Well, that's awful hard for me to do. I know, but try, will you? Oh, sure, but how long do we have to wait? It shouldn't be too long now. The Arizona Bell tied up while we were up at the prison. Hey, tell me, Bill. Who are we waiting for? Probably the bosun from the Arizona Bell and whoever his partner was on board ship. But Captain James knows about the bosun being a crook. He said he was going to put him in iron. I told him to pretend that he didn't know about the signaling. He said he'd leave the bosun alone until we had a chance to track down the rest of the gang. Uh Uh-oh, here he comes. Who? The bosun. Who's that with him? That's the engineer off the boat. I can see now why the engine stopped just at the right time to put us aground. Why, those pole cats, they really had poor old Captain James over a barrel. Yeah, let's walk over to that table so we can say hello. I'll do more than say hello to them. Now listen, you let me do the talking. Remember, they don't know we have the rest of the gang. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Howdy, gents. Huh? I see the Arizona Bell got here all right. Hickok, I, I thought... Yeah, just what did you think? Well, I thought... Well, as I thought you and Jingles were out chasing the river killers. We were, and we caught them, too. What? Jingles. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look here, Hickok. Did you catch them or not? Why are you so interested? Because they came back after you left us on that sandbar and robbed the ship, that's why. It's a loyal member of the crew. I want to see justice done. Well, that's fine. Then I suppose you won't mind going up to the prison with us and identifying the men we caught. Uh, well, now, you, you see, I... I was in the engine room at the time. I didn't get a chance to see them. I'll bet you did. Jingles, how about you, bosun? Well, I, I'll have to go back to the ship and ask Captain James if he can spare me. Uh, come on, Black. Now, just a minute. The jig's up, you two. We know all about your semaphore signals and how you always manage to stop the ship in the right place for a holdup. Now, just come along with us. Bill, watch. Take care of the other one, Jingles. I've got it. Drop that gun. Drop it, I said. My wrist. That's better. You're not taking me. Yes, I am. That's enough. There, he's through. Where's the other one, Jingles? Right here. Where? Under me. I'm sitting on him. He ain't going nowhere. Let me up, you big walrus. You're killing me. <laughs> You better climb off of him, Jingles. I'd like to take him back to jail alive. Way down upon the Colorado River, far, far away, there's where my... Doggone it, Bill, you blew that whistle on purpose. Just so you couldn't hear my singing. Oh, were you singing, Jingles? I thought that was another steamboat. No. <laughs> he got a right to sing, Bill. You two have done a mighty fine job cleaning out that river game. Glad we could help, Captain. But we'll have to leave you again at Needles. Jingles and I are heading for a little trouble up in Utah. A little trouble, he said. Captain, when you trail around after Wild Bill Hickok like I do, you usually find yourself in big trouble. Yeah, well, watch where you're steering, Jingles. She's liable to go aground. Oh, yeah. Bill, why do they name boats names like Robert E. Lee and then call them all she? Well, I guess it's because they're so pretty and ladylike, Jingles. Jingles, you're swinging too far the other way. You'll hit that log. Here, here, here. Now, you take the wheel, Captain. I can't do a thing with her. Yeah, all right. Stand by, Ford. Ring down the engine, Bill. Whew. That was close, Captain. Yeah, too close for comfort, Bill. <laughs> You know, now I know why they call boat sheep. Just like a woman. <laughs> you never know what they're going to do next. <laughs> and now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. 
Thanks for being with us today, folks, and we'll see you again on Friday. Yes, sir, and we got a humdinger of a show about sheep rustlers. And you know what? Jingles plays the goat in a story called The Mysterious Bell Ringer. Meanwhile, Andy and I also hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Right. It's a great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Sugar Corn Pops are great. So long. See you Friday. <laughs> Yes, sir. Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Cliff Arquette, Clayton Post, John Stevenson, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce. Music by Dick O'Round. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Don't forget to listen Friday, same time, same station, when Wild Bill Hickok tackles the mysterious bell ringer. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops, the cereal with the sweetening already on it. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal. And Kellogg's Corn Flakes, America's favorite ready-to-eat cereal. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.